Oral surgery is a, a subspecialty of general dentistry. So oral surgeons first go to dental school and then they go on to advanced training, which is anywhere from four to six years of, of training in hospital-based setting. And that involves not only office-based procedures such as extractions, wisdom teeth extractions, dental implants, but also facial trauma, pathology, jaw reconstruction, head and neck cancer. In addition, we are trained in five months of anesthesia training in a hospital-based setting. And in that training, we are functioning almost as anesthesiology residents. And that gives us a respect of what it entails to provide safe anesthesia for our patients in the office setting. The most common thing that eyes and oral surgery get referred for is wisdom teeth extractions. So wisdom teeth are usually taken out during the teenage years. The reason for that is majority of patients either feel pain or discomfort as the teeth come in. And the reason we need to get a wisdom teeth taken out is because evolutionary, in the past, our jaws were able to have space for all 32 teeth. As we developed and grew, the jaws became smaller and the wisdom teeth did not have space to come in. Therefore, the majority of them are called impacted or they are underneath the bone and they only come through a little bit. And because of this, it causes pain and discomfort. In addition to pain, other ways to get the wisdom teeth taken out, sometimes there's pathology around the wisdom teeth, braces, if patients need braces, a lot of times the would recommend the wisdom teeth to come out to create more space in order for the teeth to align properly for their patients.